Hello, this is Jaden Max, and welcome back. And you're probably wondering why I'm standing on top of Time's shop here in the early morning hours. And I will show you right now, because basically, here's what I'm looking at. <laughs> My shop has been pranked. And I don't know who did this. Uh, it was... I, it was my understanding that pranks were against the rules, that we weren't allowed to, because Big Bad Jeff had said a number of times that he wasn't a big fan of, of pranks. But here I am, standing here looking at what appears to be a prank. I set these two blocks of, of dirt here so I can get up on top of Time's house and get away from the zombies. But let's see, I haven't even looked at this. There's signs down here. I guess someone claiming it. Welcome to the Prank Wars. I kind of knew it was Jordan Craft. He's the guy who, on, if you remember back on my first day on the server, he was the one who was talking all about setting up pranks and stuff for people. And I thought Big Bad Jeff told him specifically we were not going to do pranks. So let's see. So Jade, I was looking at the cafe. And I was admiring how clean it was, and so I decided to make it a bit dirty. Since you have to, since you have yet to see what wonderful gifts I give people on the server, <laughs> Jaden Craft, welcome to the prank wars. Mmm, interesting. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Obviously, some retribution needs to be decided and implemented. But I'm not sure what to do, what I'm going to do. Oh, I just lost my shovel. Okay. Let's say I got to dig my way into my crafting bench and get that. Well, let's see. Um, I got to figure out what to do then in return. Uh, I, I've never actually pranked somebody before. Have I pranked somebody? Yeah, I did. I pranked Cloud on the Shadow Ray server. But apparently I didn't do a very good job because the prank's still there. He liked it so much he decided to keep it. And I don't think that's really the point of pranking. Oh, there's my crafting table. So anyway, I'm going to go on ahead and make a shovel and, and get to work on this. And then I'm going to show you the finished... Uh, well, I, I guess you could say it's about 99% finished. Uh, shop. Everything is in place on the inside. I even got some signs up to kind of explain what's going on. But it's still closed. Uh, because I got me a shovel now. Why am I using that? <laughs> but my shop is still closed, even though it's mostly mostly uh, ready. So anyway, uh, I'm going to continue working on this. I'm also going to get a drink of water because I feel like I got a frog in my throat. <laughs> it was like timed. It wasn't. Well, I'm gonna. <laughs> the rain is not gonna do anything for my throat in real life, so I'm gonna go get a drink of water and work on this dirt a little bit, and then I'll show you what I've done on the inside to to get this place looking <laughs> looking nice. Yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back with a, a slightly clearer voice. And uh, get me a glass of water here on the side. Uh, basically, I know some people uh, don't aren't able to do much of anything until they get up in the morning, have their cup of coffee. I'm kind of the opposite. It's actually evening here right now, and my wife and I went out to eat. And for some reason, I decided I want to have me a cup of coffee. The thing is, I'm not a coffee drinker. It just never has ever agreed with me completely, but for some reason I decided I wanted a cup of coffee. And now it feels like the cup of coffee has lodged itself in the back of my throat. So I'm going to try to, hopefully my voice will get better as, the, as I go, but this is a lesson to me not to drink coffee before recording. It just, it just doesn't work for me. Anyway, I'm getting, clearing this out and I just saw a I just, I guess you can say I uncovered part of the message that was hidden before. So let me go see that, uh, read that for here. Uh, P.S. If you are, if you are out to get me, I believe Yellowburn10 is planning to give me a present soon, so contact him. I hear Zachmer wants to be pranked. <laughs> Zachmer wants to be pranked. Well, let's see, um, 
if I see Yellowburn, I'll I'll talk to him about about a prank for a Jordan crab. But to tell you the truth, I already have something in mind, and uh, it's back. I I have everything I need for it already back in my hidey hole. Uh, basically, I have something that. Well, I, I'm not going. I'm not going to give away too much because I'm not sure if I'm going to post this video before or after I do that prank, and I want to make sure he gets a chance. He gets surprised by. It. I want to make sure he gets a chance to see it. Anyway, I'm going to continue working in here. I'm going to uncover everything in here, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what's going on. Uh, hold on. Okay, so that is about it. There's still some dirt along the outside. I gotta replace that door. Uh, chances are it was dark. Uh, they made it too dark because they covered up a lot of these, a lot of these uh, windows with with dirt. So my guess is something spawned in here and broke the door down, or or spawned up there and broke the door down. But no harm, no foul. <clears throat> you can see there's still some dirt outside the window and I'll have to clean that up in a bit but for the most part most of the dirt's gone let me see what do I need to do yet I uh, got the railing all the way around got the torches all up in there I'm not sure how much of this I have in the last video so I'm basically going through and covering everything uh, down here I have the two circuits connected uh, so that the what the? I keep f there's like some sort of. Uh, That's the second time I walked through there, and it's like I was falling through the floor. Anyway, uh, yeah, the I got the daylight sensor now turns on all the lights, and instead of cycling, this outside ring just stays on. It cycles once when it first turns on, and then when it turns off, it also goes around a cycle. I still have these on full delay. Uh, to do that, but there we go. I still got these on full delay to do that, but it only happens one time, and it still lags the server a little bit when it, when it happens. But I figure it's just a, a, a little bit of moment just for something that happens once a day, twice a day actually, and so I think it's a neat effect and it works really well. So. <clears throat> I got all everything's hooked up and comes on at the same time, and I have a door here which I have to remake. Yikes! 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 yikes. Oh. Wow, pretty powerful uh, shuffle I have here. Uh, yeah, let me go on ahead and make that door. Let's see, all I got is spruce. I guess I'll do the spruce door. Though, unfortunately, as of right now, it's still the same old door. So I'll toss that up in here. Right there. Good as new. And let me show you what I got here. I still have here a sign that says, not open. Uh, I'm calling it the Bistro Buffet. I decided that as its official name. Last time I, I couldn't figure out a good name for it, so on the, the name of the video uh, is, or uh, two videos ago, I guess. Three videos ago. I don't remember how many videos ago it was because at the time of this recording, I've just loaded the, the silent film video, the silent film episode up, and that's a couple episodes ago from this one, so. I'm not even sure. I'm all out of whack time-wise. But anyway, this is the official name right now. Bistro Buffet. And not yet open, but here are my signs. I got payment. Leave items for payment here. Nothing special about that. Uh, people open up, put in what they want to give me for 
however much meat they want to take. And once again, it's an honor system. So hopefully people will give me a fair trade for what they want and we'll all be happy. <laughs> I would really hate it if someone took like two stacks of, of cooked, po cooked pork and gave me like one piece of hay at, in trade. Uh, that's not how this is supposed to work and if it does become that way then I'll have to rethink the whole concept but um, I think it will work I trust these guys uh, here's what we have on the menu we have steak made from vintage beef pork chops char broiled by lightning and fried chicken with 11 herbs and spices now you probably notice there are these are all references to other people who are more famous than I am. Uh, Paul Sores Jr. with his spy chickens, uh, Zisto, uh, charboiled by lightning. He his skin is a zombie pigment. Uh, his his intro sometimes has lightning striking the ground and suddenly he emerges. And then steak made from vintage beef, which is not very veiled uh, uh, reference to the YouTuber known as Vintage Beef. Anyway, that's what we have here. That's the rest. That's the menu. And right now, there's nothing in there. I do have a couple of pieces of steak in there right now. But uh, for all intents and purposes, this place is closed until I get my farm up and running. Now, concerning that... There's a bit of bad news to to share with you today. Basically, at the time of this recording, I don't know how much longer we will be able to play on this server. I got the message from, from one of the guys uh, earlier today that the server may end up going down. Uh, the reason... Well, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the reason, but... Uh, basically, the the server just costs money to run, and the owner, Big Bad Jeff, uh, says, you know, he just can't uh, can't afford it. Now, it's not a whole lot, but considering none of us actually pay for this, it's very nice of him to have this available for us to play on at all, regardless of how much or how little uh, he pays to keep it running. So it's it's a privilege for us to be here. It's not a right. We didn't we didn't earn the, the the chance to be on this server, and he doesn't have to keep it open for us. So we appreciate the fact that he did open this server and that he's allowed us to play on it as long as we have. And so if he's thinking about ending it, that's his right, and he can do that. That said, me and the guys have been talking about what can we do to help keep this server running. And we thought, well, if money is an issue, we're going to present it to, to Jeff that we all kind of pitch in something to keep the server going. Uh, we definitely get quite a bit of enjoyment out of it. There's, uh, I believe, over a dozen of us on the server. So it won't take that much for each person to pitch in every month to keep the server running. Uh, there may be other considerations uh, in the mix, so... We have to talk to Big Bag Jeff and see what he says about the whole thing. But we would really like to keep this server running, and I hope we can. I'm sure we can. I'm going to be positive about that. Who knows? Um, things should be... We should be able to figure out something to keep things going. After all, I'm having a lot of fun. Just finished this shop, and now just finished cleaning it up. And, and what I'm going to do now... Let's see. Um, I've read all this. No need to keep it up any longer. Um, I kind of want to keep it there just as a reminder, but nah, it's not necessary. I'm going to go take it down. But uh, as soon as I'm done here, we're going to head back over to the hidey hole. And I saw a sign over there, so I'm kind of wondering. Someone's trying to Skype me. Uh, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, it was just mystical. He couldn't get, couldn't get on, was wondering what was going on. Uh, so, and I totally forget what I was talking about. Oh, I think I was saying how I'm getting ready to go out to my house, 
And it's getting a dark right now, so I'm actually going to hang around here. Is anybody else on? Yep, those two guys are on. So I'm going to hang around here, clean up some stuff, get some things organized. And I'm actually going to get started on my treehouse today. Uh, of course, I just said that the server may go down soon, so why why get started on a, on a new project? Well, the server may not go down. Everything may be completely fine, so uh, I'm going to go on as if everything is okay, and hopefully it will be. In which case, it's I should go ahead and just get this house started. So here we go, and I got some obsidian here. I'm hoping maybe as I pass the night here, I might be able to see an enderman, and if I can, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> make an ender chest. Uh, hopefully that's, that will happen. These guys are so pushy. What's up with you guys? Back off, man. Uh, there I go. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go and uh, hopefully during the night I can find an enderman, build, get his eyes and make an ender and make an ender chest with him. And let's see, what else do I need out of here? I need some of this uh, birch wood. And uh, I'm going to take this leather, I think. And basically, I'm just going to go through these cabinets and get everything I think I'm going to need for this project, everything I can carry. And then I'll be back with you come morning. Okay, see you.